Well, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to discuss about something very important. I am sure all of you must have heard about plagiarism of the text, plagiarism of the idea, and yes, the plagiarism of the graphics, inclusive of tables, figures, and a lot more. But we have already gone through um, different tools which can check the plagiarism of text. Even even Google can itself be used. Turnitin is there, and there are a lot of other tools which can be used. Either they are free of charge, either we have to pay a little bit for them. But today we are going to discuss about something very special, and that is how to check plagiarism of a figure or a picture or a table. So this is our topic for today. So what we have to do, the simplest trick for the people who are not good with the IT, you just need to go to Google. And in the Google, you have to write Google Reverse. So once you write Google Reverse, you can find this first website, which is called labnol.org. You just need to open this website. So once you are already inside the website, you need to drag it down there, and there's an option of upload image. Now, either you want to check. The image which your student or your colleagues are using in a manuscript, or you are evaluating a thesis or any kind of stuff which you want to be evaluated, and you are not sure either this image is a true image or not. So what you have to do, you just click upload image. For example, we pick this image, and we click open. You have to go down there. You will see this. The image is already uploaded in the system. So now you have to click the show matching images. Make sure your internet is connected at this moment. So here we go. You go down there and you will find that this image has been used, you know, by many other people. So it means it's not the real image or it's not the uh, author's actual image. It has been used by many other people. So in this case, you have to provide a proper citation or you have to provide with the proper acknowledgement. Or you need to take the permission if the copyright is there for this image. And now we get another example. We'll go back to our Google Rivers, and uh, which is on labnol.org. Then you click back on upload another image. So we pick another image. For example, this is a picture from one of the articles in Lancet related to obesity. Open. We'll go down. It's uploading it in the system. Okay, now it's already uploaded. Now you click Show Matching Images. So here we go. You go down there, and yes, it's already in so many articles. It's already published in Lancet, and it's on so many other articles. So yes, this image if somebody is again using without taking the permission, or acknowledging, or citing properly, it will be a plagiarism. Let us go for the last example. For example, you want to see anyone's, uh, any person, uh, face picture, or the picture of the anyone who uh, you are not sure about. You want to check this person identity. Click again to the upload another image, and then what you have to do, you have to click upload image. For example, I just picked this picture. Open. And we go down there, and then we click Show Matching Images. So we'll see what we get here. So you have to go down there. These are all the pictures which are coming under the images. Should we leave this pair up, this whole part, and you go down the web links? So here we go. It's already mentioned on Live DNA profile as one of the profiles of a person. So that is how we actually check the plagiarism of the image in the very easiest way yes there are different tools but only with the people who are with the education and they want to make it very easy this is one of the easiest way so remember the website is labnol.org slash reverse slash and otherwise you can go to google reverse images you can click go to google just check with google reverse and you'll get this website as the first website inshallah thank you so much for like listening and stay tuned for some more tricks